ambaye anasimamia uh, gender Asante sana. Nataka ni mtambue mweshimiwa Agoi. Hatutaki kusema sana, lakini munajua rais alifanya kitu. Eh? Asante sana kwa niaba ya sisi sote. Uh, Your Excellency, yangu yatakua machacha sana kwa sababu tuko kwa kanisa. Lakini nataka ni seme heko kwa kamati na wale wamesimamia ujenzi wa Donholm kweka church mimi najua wamekuwa wakitoa jasho kujenga kanisa hili nishawahi kuhusika na hao labda mara mbili mara tatu kwa hiyo kazi lakini leo ni furaha kwa sababu wako katika ile hali ya kumalizia tu kile kimebaki kidogo but we are proud that as Quakers you have put up a very nice and decent church for the people of Kenya sisi kama Quakers na mimi ni Quakerman vile nimetangazwa hapa leo nitapawesha siasa lakini nataka tu niambie Quakers wetu let us unreservedly support the government of president William Samoei Ruto Let us support him in prayers. Let us support him through human resource. Let us support him in whatever way we can either individually or collectively support him. Taifa letu liko kwa hali ambayo ni ngumu. Tukisema tutoe hesabu zote ni mambo ya ajabu. But I can tell you kwamba the president has got a mammoth task to turn around this economy. And it will require everything. It will require prayer. It requires the hand of God. It also requires our sacrifice and our commitment and our patience as a people pahali tuko you cannot turn around an economy the way you brew instant coffee vilo natengeneza kahawa ya nescafe usifikiri ndio hivyo unaweza badilisha uchumi it takes time consistency commitment and sacrifices ndio tufike pahali tunataka tuende secondly we all must focus mimi sijui biblia sana kama william ruto yeye akitoa vas mimi nanyamaza but at least i know somewhere in the bible there is lazarus Lazarus alikuwa na shida na familia yake the sister and others wakatuma ujumbe kwa Yesu wakamwambia njoo haraka Lazarus yuko kwa hali mbaya njoo haraka tunakuhitaji lakini rai, uh, Jesus akakaa aka focus ile kazi yake na akarudi kwenda kumuona baada ya siku mbili hivi Why am I bringing this issue of Lazarus Let us take it in the context of managing time 
let us take it in the context of focusing. Jesus had gone for his mission and he focused on his mission. And no matter what destruction was being brought to him, even if it was a matter of life and death, Jesus still remained focused on his mission. And he managed his time and he knew, I have to fulfill my obligation, do what I'm doing, I will deal with the issue of Lazarus when I get there. He did not panic and run away from his mission to go and deal with the Lazarus issue. So the message I'm putting across here is that as Kenyans and for the president, let nobody try to distract the president's focus. Let him implement his program, work on resuscitating the economy, and let us not work on other people's emergencies. Jesus focused on his job, but eventually he dealt with the problem of Lazarus. The president must focus on his job, deal with the emergencies as defined by his government, and in the process, he will then deal with the other 